Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob, welcome to my channel, great to be back and um, just enjoying obviously some of my maps, um, as you can see I'm on, on uh, Pilgrim's Rest, it's one of the maps that I've created and um, with my old trusty horse Sparky, <laughs> we're just having a, a good drive here in nature and then uh, just watching the farm going on there at the bottom. Uh, the workers are busy planting and seeding and uh, yes so yes welcome guys if this is your first time please just uh, jump on that subscribe button and also the like and the bell all the nice things there and yeah let's uh, spend some time together um, what I'm doing on this uh, on this farm at the moment is basically just having fun just farming <laughs> I've got a few cows I've got a few sheep and a few chicken like any farm should have and um, that's basically it guys so the idea obviously is just to have fun and I thought for this first first day or first bit I will take you guys along for the ride you know if you don't know my map uh, Pilgrim's Rest it's uh, a, a actually a real place in South Africa called Pilgrim's Rest you can go on to Google Maps and find it it's close to Graskop and Sabi, Leidenberg, those areas in, in the in the Mpumalanga province. And uh, yeah, I've made I've made this map because I grew up in Nelspreet, the area there, you know. And uh, yeah, always been fun. And this map boasts a lot of potential and a lot of stuff. It's got these horse and hiking trails, and they are all marked like this uh, hiking trails so obviously the hiking trails you can also ride with your horse which makes them fun um, there on the other side of the mountain you'll see another one going out and this one actually starts on our farm um, and this is the farm here you start off with uh, four fields and obviously all the all the necessary stuff to to just get you going um, I have added a little bit to the farm I've taken away and added a little bit just to to enjoy myself you know and the farm is called Valley Farms uh, it's obviously um, just a name that I've chosen for this particular farm it doesn't really exist this area is not agricultural it's more um, it's more um, what do you call it um, it's more historical area there is obviously agriculture going on but the town itself it's a historical town and uh, I just want to put Sparky here into his uh, pen. It's from my jump defense. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Sparky. It was really nice to to uh, take a ride on you. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good stuff. Great. Sparky is back in stable. That's what we like to see. Yeah, let me just give you a quick tour of the farm. We've got our nice silo here. The farmhouse that side, and then obviously a bit of uh, storage, um, more like a, a, a carports or just shaded parking for for vehicles and trailers. We've got Sparky there, obviously, and the chickens here. Then there's a nice river going to the property. Obviously, I always have rivers on my maps. So I love rivers and streams and all those kind of stuff. Then we have a little bit of a dairy there, water point here. Um, the dairy, I think I've got 8 or 10 cows. I'll take you through the list of animals just now. I've added this fuel station here. It was not in the, um, it's not part of the map. This is here. Obviously, these sheds are here. And that little blue van I've added. Um, these um, full stations I've added. This uh, extra storage I've added reason why I did this was to accommodate um, root crop um, and to have something to store for my cows to put the root crops in because I don't want to put the root crops in there um, I'd rather put them in here where the cows is you know so yeah just fun I've added obviously a fermenting silo to make silage and then also a, a TMR uh, mixing facility which is quite nice great and then on this side the sheep I've got about 10 sheep or 8 sheep or something and I've added a workshop which the farm doesn't come with a workshop so I've added this nice little old workshop I think it's very very nice let's have a quick look at the map just to give you an idea what it looks like 
the map itself uh, I think has 29 fields yeah 29 fields and it's like in the form of a, of a V or a V um, a upside down V <laughs> or a horseshoe shape if you want to call it that <laughs> Good, and then obviously got a nice forestry area here, some horse and hiking trails. All the orange uh, lines are horse and hiking trails, which you can actually enjoy. And then our farm is here. If you look at land, this is what you start with. It's four fields, and um, I'm busy planting and sowing because our animals is running out of food. It was a rough winter. Um, and uh, it's time to to plant some more food for us you know to to keep the animals going chicken i've got eight chickens one rooster um five cows they're all happy i've just added some food for them so they're all very very nice and um, going strong and then obviously sparky there all happy in its little place eight sheep yes i thought it was ten but it's actually eight i've got eight sheep it's some small little farm. It's not really um, to make money. It's just to have fun, guys. So I'm keeping my animals alive by planting and sowing. I've got three workers running at the moment. Uh, I normally don't use three week workers, but it just turned out um, that I will be using three workers this time around. So why not? I just use what's available, you know. <laughs> Good. One of them are finished. I just want to toggle through. It's obviously this guy has finished doing the lime so I just want to quickly stop him and uh, let him relax uh, this field we finished with we can actually just take our vehicle down to the next um, field once that's finished plowing we will do that I've just released a video uh, about um, favorite mods or or nice to have mods and one of them is this uh, a real color on the ground um, the real ground color so there you can see the lime sticking to the wheels it's really it looks really real eh? <laughs> it's like crazy <laughs> but anyway so there it is um, this guy is finished by the looks of it so let us just jump into him as well and this obviously is now the end of um, the plowing we've plowed every field on the farm the tractors you see here is what you start with in game I have um, not bought any new tractors after just using what we started with I've added obviously that lime um, spreader as well as this um, plow and also the the Pronto 9DC cedar down there that's the three things that I've added to the map I've sold the, the ones that comes with um, the ones that comes with this uh, a three meter cedar uh, a bit a bit small for my liking but uh, you can get away with it um, but yeah I thought I will just stick with what I like you know just go with what I like uh, not what I've put in the map for for starters you know you can obviously go with your own choice and obviously a nice um, ad addition is the the, the uh, instant wash just hit that insert key and very nice clean equipment quick and easy <laughs> i like that instant wash uh, it is really like a life saver you know time saver does make you a bit lazy to pull out the to jet wash and and wash your stuff but yeah it just makes sense guys good just park this boy here I've gone crazy with the wheels as you can see just to get a bit more traction because um, that that um, that plow is right on the edge of of this tractor's abilities so I wanted to uh, not go too crazy with the with the horsepowers you know and look at that wheel now it was just touching ground and then it start to change color and the longer you drive the more dirt it will get you know <laughs> it's crazy good let's have a quick uh, field generation here yeah, this is field three um let's quickly make a course for it um uh, this is gonna be yeah uh, just one pass is fine i want uh three percent overlap that should be all right and go back and let's just save it 
30 uh, and I call it uh, what's it 26 meters that's just the way I like to store my stuff save it into field 3 and we go uh, obviously start at the first waypoint good uh, 1900 liters of lime left ah, it should do it should be enough good let's jump to the other guy let's get him on the radio and uh, just uh, dismiss him so what I've done guys, um, just to bring you up to speed uh, where I am, um, the basic components I need to feed my animals is wheat. O virtually all the animals require wheat, uh, and then grass and hay and carrots. So, um, so this field number one and field number four, field number one I've made grass, um, field number four is the largest field and I've made that one wheat. So um, this next field I'm going to also sow grass and then that last field I'm going to do carrots. Um, so that's just my thinking, you know. I hope it's going to work out uh, for the year. So we'll see if there's enough uh, to last the year. I should have actually played this in seasons because seasons on this map is very nice because you if, if you play it with the um, with the South African Geo, the SA Geo, which you can download from my website. Um, it's really awesome on this map, specifically because uh, even the sun, everything aligns perfect <laughs> with the map. It's really awesome, guys. Great, so let's quickly make a course for this guy Yeah, Course generation. Um, this is field 2. And we want... Uh, this is the sewing machine. This is to do two um, rounds. Oh my gosh, I forgot I wanted to not make seven. I normally make three on the sewing. Um, passes two, that's fine. We could actually, this is fairly roundish map, so we can make that three. Okay, automatic, everything else should be fine. Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, and let's just save that. Um, oh, I didn't have enough lime on that. Um, and it was got so uh, nine meters. That's fine. And then we go in here. Put that in field number two. Good, great, guys. And let's just set this guy up to go to grass. Um, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Sunflower, soybean, cotton, grass. There you go. Back to grass on this. Um, first waypoint, drive the course. Thanks. Okay, let's just jump into this guy again. Oh, I almost had enough. <laughs> oh, but that's just how it is, guys. Um, stop the driver here. Um, let's just quickly go and fetch some more, some more limes. Well guys, sit back, have, run, have a nice coffee with me. I myself having some nice coffee. So, um, yeah, it's just the way I like it. Maybe I should just get rid of this uh, thing that's in the screen. I sometimes don't enjoy, enjoy them uh, sitting like in your face the whole time, you know. Great stuff, fill it up for us please. I'm just going to put like 2,000, that should be alright, like so, because I mean we're almost done. And I don't want to keep too much, uh, too much of it in pallets, you know, better to have it in storage. I must say guys, um, the 9 meter Pronto DC, it's actually perfect for this map as well as the joker uh, 12 meters uh, uh, plow that is really two perfect um, items for this map you don't need anything bigger than that uh, smaller than that you can go as well doesn't matter just d d depends on what you like you know good let's set this guy off to go to the closest waypoint 
which she didn't select uh, to do it. Now we're gonna have to go here to see. Oh, it was. Oh, sorry, but uh, it was only me. Let's go for it. Switch that off again. And there you go. I normally don't stress too much about that little bit um, that it misses, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, does it really matter, you know? Look at the limey on the wheels. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's crazy. So guys, yes, if you if you like this map, um, I will definitely put a little description as well as a link for the download in the description of the of the video when I've placed it up. Uh, it should be in this coming week. Um, and then yeah you can enjoy this map as well i've recently um, done some work on well recently it's a while ago again um, i've changed the water as well to my nice water and um yeah that's a that a few bit of uh things on the map made it a bit nicer you know good this guy is like sewing like crazy and then obviously we're gonna have to spray a bit no it can't be finished it is finished Yo, that was quick. Okay. All right. So, yeah, as is, as I thought, I actually loaded way too much, uh, but it doesn't matter. That's one thing I I just don't understand. Um, look at this wheels hopping. It does that on uh, plowed surfaces. Um, I don't know if it's maybe just uh, um, what do you call it? Physics. It could be physics um, in the map something to do with physics in the game um, but uh, ah, whatever and it's just pretty annoying if your tractor is uh, um, hopping about you know it's like he's on a joyride and whatever great this little lime uh, lime friend uh, I think I'm going to park this I'm going to try and Park it next to that um, sprayer there because I still need to get that sewing machine in here. And we're gonna be using this sprayer just 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 now. Good. Oh you know what? I wanted to wash it. Uh, let's quickly do a wash. An instant wash. <laughs> there you go, nice and clean. Oh I love that. That's a does doesn't get old. Great uh, for spraying. Uh, what am I gonna use for spraying? This guy is a bit light in the in the front. Um, I'll use the the case. The case is the medium tractor that I've got uh, here on the farm. And this guy just always sleeps here next to the trailers. Handy to have. I've actually upgraded this Massey to the largest engine, so it's now a, a five six one three. Oh, and obviously I like to manually switch my engines on and off. Good. Yeah, and this is the farm, guys. Um, this is what we do. This is what I'm busy with, just enjoying myself, just farming and taking care of the animals. Let's have a quick look at the animals, if they are happy still. Don't think much have changed because game speed is on five, so... So yeah, I do I do have the horse helper um, of um, what do you call it um, global company. If you press Control G, um, it opens the the um, global company menu, and then obviously here yeah, by the gears you'll see I've got the horse helper on here, and that guy um, is a trainer for the horse that comes once a day and he rides your horse like crazy give him a nice brush and uh, make sure that he's okay so he exercises your horse for 300 bucks a day and it's it's something that i can really um enjoy because um i don't drive old sparky every day but yeah he needs to be driven every day to get his exercise you know if if um, if ever you worked with horses you'll know that the horse needs exercise virtually daily <laughs> and that is true um 
Especially if you don't ride him. I mean, my horse on the farm that I had, I had the old horse. He w his name was Prince. If you don't ride him for a week, he becomes like stubborn, you know. When you come to him again f to, to saddle him, he will sort of resist you, you know. Tell you, listen, man, uh, what are you trying to do? <laughs> but if you ride him like at least a minimum of two or three times a week, he's fine, you know. So, yeah, that is... Um, that's the downside of a horse. You need to take care of it. If you and obviously spend time on it. If you don't spend time on it, you're gonna run into problems. <laughs> Good. Well, guys, um, I'm gonna uh, carry on farming like crazy, and then I'll catch you in a bit when um, when the crops are ready to to start harvesting, and we'll chat again.